Which way up? I came back from lunch and Donald and Diana had been kindly helping to hang my first solo exhibition. Four of the pieces are upside down, I said, feeling a little ungrateful. We didn't know which way up they went. Another conversation with my son. It looks like a fish jumping out of the sea, he says. Since my work is not representational, then maybe which way up it goes seems less important. But if I can immediately see a fish or a dolphin or a dinosaur, then I have to turn it around. Seeing an obvious shape or form distracts from the more emotional response I strive to achieve. Usually I have a pretty strong sense from the start of how I want the flow in a piece to go. We wouldn't dream of hanging a portrait or landscape upside down. Like a picture hanging askew, we'd want to turn it up the right way. But how do we address the abstract? Should it matter how it hangs so long as the viewer experiences some sense of aesthetic appreciation? What difference should it make if someone else chooses to hang the artwork another way up? Despite being clear which way is up when I begin, more than once by chance I have discovered something hidden and exciting as I inadvertently catch sight of it at a different angle. I have gone into my studio and been taken by surprise as a new piece of work presents itself. And then it can be no other way. The new angle has sprung from another place but has now become part of the creative process. Ultimately, I'll use my signature to indicate which way I believe the final artwork should be displayed. But I have to accept that artists have little control over the response of the viewer.